Hey, we go back again with another match preview. And yes, this weekend, Sunderland go all without the Highbury Stadium. Yes, not the Arsenal, but to Fleetwood. Fleetwood Town down by somewhere near Blackpool, I think it is. But anyway, Fleetwood Town, yes, the manager, we all know the manager, Simon Grayson, and can Sunderland stay unbeaten on this lovely little run of form we are playing in. We had a great start to the season. The best start of the season since 1925. The only game we have lost so far this season. Anyway, form, shape or way of things is against Burton, where we were unfortunate. And I keep mentioning it, we were unfortunate. But I will say it till the cows come home. So today, I'm going to do a little quick cider review. Yes, it's going to be Copperberg Mixed Fruit Tropics 4%. Before we get on with that, today's match preview, I have just did a vlog where I was down Liverpool at Anfield Stadium. Fantastic stadium, fantastic weekend away. And that vlog is now up on the channel. I will leave a link down below in the description if you want to quickly watch that when you've watched this video. So yes, Sunderland take on Fleetwood Town. And can we... Go even further in front of the table. Can we stay top of the league the whole of the season? Can we stay top of the league for a few more games? Is it possible? What's your thoughts? How was your thoughts and feelings on the start of the season? It's a buzz, it's a high, it's exciting. It is really exciting. We've been League One, yes. We're not going to be carried away, but we've been in League One for four seasons. So this is the best season of the four seasons. Sherry, Sherry baby. No, it's cider, right? Oh, that's fruity. That's mixed fruit. It should be. So, yes, Fleetwood were founded in 1908 with a capacity of the stadium of 5,327 fans. Suddenly, they've got about 1,200 fans going down this weekend, and the Cod Army have a good little vlogger called Cod's Vlogs. He's probably not little now, as he's grown up, yes. Fleetwood started the season really poor. They got beat against Portsmouth. They lost away at the Stoke and the EFL Cup. They lost to Lincoln. Lost to Sheffield Wednesday. Then they've kind of turned the corner a little bit. Turned the screw. They drew against Plymouth. They, they, they beat the Leicester under-21s in, in that daft Papa John's Trophy Cup 4-1. And then last weekend won 4-2 against Rotherham. I think Rotherham went behind them, they equalised, and then, I don't know, all went pear-shaped. But, you know, they're in 17th place. So, with a win and two, drawn one, lost three, scored nine, led in nine, and they've got seven points. So, they've had a poor start of the season, but they're picking up momentum now. So, is it a good time to play, play Fleetwood? Probably not. But, we are Sunderland. If we want to continue the way we're playing, we have to take on every game, every week, twice a week, and continually putting in the performances we have been doing so far this season. Now, in that game against Fleetwood, against Rotherham, when they won 4-2, they had 20 shots, Rotherham. Fleetwood only had 9, had 5 on target each, so 5's a peach. Fleetwood only 42% possession in the game. So, unlike Accrington, who had a bit of possession, we may have to have more possession against Fleetwood. The accuracy for passing was only 54%, which is not fantastic. And they did play the 3-5-2 system. A young lad called, young lad called Callum, Callum, oh, what is it? I forget his name now. I wrote his name down somewhere. Callum Mortar. Callum Mortar. He's a West. I think I, I, I do apologise if I got that, that wrong, but he's, he's on loan from West Brom. The young 21-year-old striker. He did go to Braintree, played 14 and scored five goals. He went to Northampton. Played nine, scored five goals. Then Lincoln, 17, scored two goals. And now he's a Fleetwood. He's played all six of the league matches so far for Fleetwood Town. And he scored his first goal against Rotherham on Saturday. So well done, this young lad. Earning his trade. He may be the danger man. I'm going to have him as the danger player at the weekend. So, you know, like I said, he's on loan, 21-year-old. I do wish him all the best for his future because he's got a long future headroom. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So they're in 17th place, Fleetwood. Now Sunderland. Sunderland, Sunderland. Denver Hume, news today coming out, is coming along well. He's had two or three really intense training sessions. So now he's due a rest here. So Denver Hume is looking strong, says Lee Johnson. And Arba Jamajli. Yes, 
He has almost been out for a full season, but he's back in training, did one or two quality sessions, and you know, for a guy who's been out for a full season, it's a long way back, and Lee Johnson says he winces every single, not winces, he winces every single time he goes in the 50-50 challenge, because he wants the lad to do well. The Kosovo defender feels at home at Sunderland now, and hopefully at some point in the coming, this coming year, this year, he should be back in, in the team setup. So that's, that's very, very good news for the young lad. You want to see young players, if they have bad injuries, like the guy for Liverpool at the weekend, you want to wish them all the best. You want to wish them a fully speedy recovery and have a great, great long career in front of them. Now, Xhaka Koo could be starting on Saturday or Tuesday in the Carabao Cup against Wigan. He's had some good sessions. He was fit but not match fit. And now he's been having one or two really good sessions behind closed doors. He's ready now to be on. He will definitely start. He'll be on the bench on Saturday. He will come on during the game. And well, I think he will probably start the full match. The full match against Wigan. So my team news for this weekend. We'll get the scores on the door, should we? Oh, here we go. Get these on. Okay, see that? Very bit closer. There we go, that's better. So, I think, even though it's very unfortunate that Patterson's being dropped, I think Patterson deserves the bench role this weekend. I think I would give Burge the rest out the full squad. And then bring Patterson. I thought it was a bit hard, a bit hard done by Patterson, not being not even on the subs bench at the weekend. Maybe he had a bit of a knock. Maybe he was feeling, I don't know, maybe he's made a bit of cold. I don't know, but there must have been a reason why he wasn't on the substitutes bench when he started those games. Did really well. You know, so for me, I, I was a bit disappointed that he wasn't on the subs bench at, at, at worst. So for me, I do think Nate Johnson, you know, when a guy comes from Bayern Munich with a high profile like him under, under Neuer, he comes in to a League One side. For me, part of the deal was to give him first team experience, simple as so. For me, he's going to start. Lee Johnson's going to have him in the team. As, as, so long as he doesn't make any mistakes. So I think Hoffman's going to be a, one of our, our, our goalkeeper for the season now. That's just my thought. Second, Winchester. Doyle, Neil, 09, Embleton. Stewart, Gooch, McGeady, but Wright will come in for me. Wright will come in because Flanagan's been suspended as he has five yellow cards already this season. So Flanagan's out for the one match. And I think Billy better come in. Who else would you start? Would, would you bring anybody else in? Would you bring Alves in? Because Alves for me needs more. Alves for me will be a starter in the cup match, I think. So there you go. And big 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 name players, Evans is Evans, Corey Evans. Is he almost fit? Is he ready to start? Wood. Luke 09 be dropped to the bench and Evans comes in or would change it over 60 minutes in the game. Dan Neal, absolute star on the terraces as a young kid watching Sunderland play and now he's playing for Sunderland. What an absolute dream that is. I am over the moon. You know what it is, right? You want to see young lads, young Sunderland lads born in the area coming through and doing really well and I'm absolutely buzzing and over the moon for Dan Neal. I hope he has a long successful career because for me, First name on the team sheet. First name on the team sheet. I'll say that properly this time. And Embleton again, gone away, come back. And for me, another player that is absolutely key for Sunderland this season, along with Stewart. Now, we need to start putting some of these games to bed. Do I think we're going to start a straight away against Fleetwood? Probably not. It's going to be a difficult match. Fleetwood are a difficult side. Simon Grayson, can you take him serious that much? At the end of the day, I... I I've got no hard feelings against Simon Grayson. He had his hands tied a bit, didn't he? So I do wish the bloke all the best after the Sunderland match. But yeah, Cod's vlogs, young young vlogger. He'll have his vlog on the weekend. Watch him, subscribe to the channel. But for me, score predictions. I'll tell you what, score predictions. We'll go for the score predictions. Who got the correct last weekend? I've mentioned it once already, but it was W Proctor 18, Master Clear, Stuart Diggle, Alan Lumpton, Jack Wally, Mark 271190. They got the correct score. They got 10 points. They are now on the table. And top of the table, there is 1, 2, 3, 4 on 20 points. Angelic Skin, John Forbes, Nathan Cayolo, and Matt Mick Griffiths. Mick Griffiths, my good old moderator on 
me live stream. So yes, on Saturday, I will be doing a live stream for the Fleetwood match. Come along, join into the chat. Let's cheer the lads on together. Come in, we can do what we can do. I really feel confident that we can kick on. So I'll be doing a live stream on Saturday. It'll be about half past two, starting a little bit earlier. We'll kick into it. Few beers, chilling out, getting in the And yes, score predictions. I am going to go for a score prediction of Fleetwood Town. Now we have got a bit of a makeshift defence. And you know what? We do score goals, don't we? We do score goals. Tell you what, right? I am going to go for Fleetwood 1, Sunderland Three, there we go. Fleetwood one, Sunderland three is my score prediction. We're going to continue winning matches. We're going to continue. And and JQ could start. He's been mentioned that he could start Saturday, if not Saturday, definitely on Tuesday again to begin. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget check out the Liverpool Anfield tour. The tour guy was absolutely funny as out. The tour guy was absolutely mental. He's class. The tour guy is class. A lot of banter with the Everton fans, but a purely banter. There's no malice, you know. He just does it for a bit of a laugh, you know. And I'm sure with the Everton tour guy does exactly the same Liverpool. So there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we will see you on Saturday for the live stream. Thank you.